Good morning. Welcome to Renew, a daily devotion for you. My name is John, and this is my wife, Keisha, and we're members of Mainland Baptist Church with your uh, devotion for the day. Okay, and our devotion today is coming from 1 Corinthians chapter 3, uh, verse 8 through 10. Now he that planteth and he that watereth are one, and every man shall receive his own reward according to his own labor. For we are laborers together with God, ye are God's husbandry, ye are God's building. According to the grace of God, which is given unto me, as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation, and another buildeth thereon. But let every man take heed how he buildeth thereupon. Assessing our work for God. We are not saved just for our own benefit. God freely brings us to his family without any work or effort on our part. But there are no faithful, obedient, yielded Christians who are not doing something for him. <clears throat> we all have different gifts and abilities. We all have different opportunities and avenues of service. We all have different choice of whether we will be faithful workers in his kingdom. Spurgeon said, we greatly err when we dream that only a preacher can minister to the Lord, for Jesus has all sorts of work for all sorts of followers. As there are no idle angels, there ought be no idle Christians. We are not saved for our own sakes, but that we, that we may be of service to the Lord and to his people. Let us not miss our calling. The way we should assess our work for God is not whether we are well known or popular or have a public place and notable area of ministry. Rather, we should judge our work as he does by what motivates us. Every man's work shall be made manifest, for the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire, and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort of work it is. 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 3, 13 verse. There are no bonus points for fame or the applause of men. Instead, God honors those who are faithful to labor for him no matter what. Today's growth principle... <clears throat> The ways in which we serve God may change through our lives, but the necessity of serving him never does. Let's uh, take a moment to pray, can we? Sure. Uh, Heavenly Father, we thank you for uh, your gifts that you give us, Lord, to bring glory to your name and to your word, Lord, that we would honor your great uh, commission, God, to use our gifts to reach the lost for you, Lord. May our lives be spent entirely devoted to honoring you, God. We love you and we thank you for your blessings each and every day. And God, thank you for salvation most of all. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. We hope you guys got as much out of this as we did. Thank yes. you. God bless you and see you next time. God bless. See you next time.